Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to teach you all how to turn a dirty water into a clean water. For this uh, process you need filter paper, soil, a transparent glass or a transparent bottle, a funnel. That's it. Use, we will filter using two processes. One is sedimentation and the other is filtration. Let's start. First I have taken the soil and now we will add it to the water. You can use the dirty muddy water. When the rain comes the the muddy water you can see on the roads we will let it for settling first we'll mix a little bit now we will let it for settle for two minutes now the sedimentation part is finished sedimentation is nothing but it's, it settles the larger particles which are inside the water. For example, if we put a coin in the water, it settles down. Now you can see that all the soil is down and the water is up. Now let's start the filtration part. If you don't have transparent glass, you can cut a plastic bottle which will be like this into a transparent glass and you can use this as a funnel now I have taken a funnel a circle filter paper now I will fold it in half and in half again and we will hold it like this and make a cone Now we will put this cone inside the um, we will put this cone inside the funnel. Now I have taken a transparent bottle. You can use a transparent glass too. Now I am going to pour this carefully. You can see that the clean water is coming. You can boil this water for drinking or you can use UA light. You can use droppers like these for pouring because if you pour fast the water might fill till here and it might spill see the difference between this water and the clean water you can use even a few layers of cotton cloth if you don't have filter paper you can still see this is a, a little not filtered you can use the same filter paper for filtering this again. You can use this water for bathing, washing, vessels and many more. And this water can be used only for plants. See the color between the clean water and the dirty water. You can use this water for drinking. You can first you should boil it or you can use RO or UV treatment. You can see that this is still a little yellow yellow. So we should boil it. I will use this dropper for pouring. First we will put it a little deep and press it. 
Now it has set the water. We will press it again. The water is here. You can use syringes too. Now we will do the same process using talcum powder. Let's keep this aside. I have again taken a transparent glass filled with water. Now I am adding talcum powder. Now we will leave it for a few minutes for settling. The powder, the powder is very light. So it will not settle. It might float or get dissolved in the water. I am using powder because you all might think that filter paper cannot filter the tiny and lightest parts like powder you can see that the water is white now we will use the same process for filtering but make sure you don't use the same filter paper Uh, now I am using the funnel and the transparent glass which I made. Let's start. This is best out of waste. You can see that this is also coming very lightly. And you can see that the powder is the powder is standing here only. See? Now we will leave this for some time. You can see that this water is white and the water which is filtering is pure water. The powder which is in this white water will get trapped inside the filter paper. Now we will leave this for some time and see the muddy water. You can see that this is has became 98% pure and now we will change this filter paper and filter it again to make it very much pure. You can use a few layers of um, cotton cloth. Make sure you pour it very slowly. If you pour fast, the filter paper might get tear. You can see this one is a, a pure water. You can see the muddy water. It's, it's a little more it needs a little more filtration you can boil this water for 100% pure water see this water it is very much pure 
and this is a little not pure. Let's leave it for some time and see what happens. You can see that this muddy water has turned into pure and this powder water has turned into more pure. See? I have left it for some time in which it can fill a little more. See? You can boil it, this water, for drinking. Or you can use UV light. This is the easiest method for filtering water. And this experiment tells that we should not drink water directly. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, Subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you.